Today, PowerPoint has a quiz question. This quiz question is our exam question too, but your PowerPoint slide PDF file doesn't have a quiz, but my PowerPoint has. So does it make sense? Yeah, does it make sense? So uh, before to take our quiz for our lecture today, right? You must watch, actually you're already here, <laughs> but just in case if you didn't come, if we were absent, if you just watch this recorded one, right? You must finish watching this uh, lecture and you can take a quiz. So it doesn't make sense. So uh, last time I talked about uh, Krebs cycle. Did you remember it, right? So class, did you remember? And I talk about this one as is another slide. And I talk about all our biochemistry, how important without that understanding is not easy to make exercise uh, de develop exercise testing protocol as well as exercise prescription, as you right. So let's see. And another one, today I prepared a quiz question. Actually, it will be our exam question too. This is from Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist type quiz. So it's not like a doctor one just made it, right? It's kind of like a dead quiz question. So I think you can be familiar with this kind of quiz question. So, oops, here. Yeah, this slide you talk about, this slide we talk about. Class, did you remember, right? Last previous class, the question is ADP, organic phosphate, from where? So, class, did you remember? Did you remember? And another one, actually, this, this figure, so this figure is not really correct. <laughs> it's not really correct. But actually, I understand. Why is uh, NSCA made our textbook, made this figure to show our student, uh, no, no, to show their members, <laughs> the reader, right? So using NADH plus proton and using FADHT is a different ATP production. This is kind of like a, their intention to make this figure because this figure is not really correct. It doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm not sure you can see my uh, my mouse cursor. My mouse cursor is here. Class, could you see my mouse cursor? Could you just show me, right? So any, could you see my mouse cursor? Oh yeah, thank you. Right. See, see, is it right here? So ADP, 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 and the first become ATP. That is after, yeah. after when what is this? Is a uh, uh, oxygen is reduced. And become it's water before them. So it cannot be ADP over there and over there and over there. But however, they want to show if we use NADH proton, we release the ATP. However, if we use FAD, we release to ATP. It doesn't make sense. So this is why their intention to make this figure yeah, to show different ATP production. So this is why. So it doesn't make sense. But actually, this figure is not really correct. <laughs> yeah. So how about based on the two slides? So this is kind of CSCS certified strength, uh, uh, certified strength and conditioning coach. Uh, certified strength and conditioning specialist. I'm sorry. Practice question. So here, could you answer? Uh, using chat box, could you answer? Uh, in the metabolic cycle that we have reviewed class, where does guanine triphosphate indirectly produce two ATP? So this is from CSS exam, right? So it's not Dr. Gun made it. So sometimes it is a little bit confused. It doesn't really make sense, right? So it doesn't make sense. But even you, you understand that much. <laughs> I don't know if you understand what I mean, but could you answer this one? Yeah, using the checkbox, could you could you do? Could you do? What is the answer? Oh, nobody nobody type. Yeah, this, this is here. So GTP. GTP. Nobody answer. Okay, yeah. But I can oh I cannot spend time with last last the last class, right? So uh, oh, so 
so it's here, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Patrick. It's very close. But how about where is GTP? GTP. Class, but Patrick is very close. Yeah. So here. So Chris, did you see this Krebs cycle, TCA Krebs cycle? Krebs, Dr. Krebs found this cycle, which we call Krebs cycle, and he got a Nobel Award. So here, could you see GTP is here? GTP and GDP, right? After succinate coenzyme A, yeah, yeah, this is right. So at that time, GDP become GTP, but this GTP become G, uh, ATP, right? It's like creatine phosphate and ATP, like that kind of thing. So Krebs cycle get a GTP, uh, GDP to GTP, but this GTP can resynthesize ADP to ATP. Class, did you remember? Please, the answer is a Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle. But see, this question is a little bit confused. Doctor one said, I didn't make this one. CSCS exam, right? This one. So here. So GTP in Krebs cycle is right, but actually one GTP, one ATP. But I believe, they believe Krebs cycle itself, it releases two ATP. So this is why I'm a little bit confused. This is why maybe Patrick thinks a little bit confused, right? See, GTP, it shouldn't be say one ATP, but they said this is the Krebs cycle, so two ATP. So it's confusing, right? So even I'm the doctor, right? I understand the mechanism very well. So that's this is all. Maybe the author to make to create this question, uh, he talked about Krebs cycle, but he had better say two GTP or one ATP, but they make like this. They're a little bit confused. But even you understand that much. Plus, does it make sense? Did you remember last time I said this NSA textbook has different author? Each each chapter has different author. Right? So this is why sometimes they said lactic acid. Another chapter said no, that is not correct. Another chapter's author said lactic acid is still. Right? See, doesn't make sense. So even you understand that much. <laughs> so NSA uh, exam still talk about lactic acid, but you understand. Oh, I think one of the authors confused. They still use, but I think it means it's lactate. Like that much, that much. Class doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. Like this is kind of our situation. This textbook is much better than other textbook, still has problem. Right? Class is okay, is okay, yeah, that much. And fat oxidation. So this textbook talk about fat oxidation this much, right? We didn't talk about all of the reaction, just two slides, but still is important, right? So class, could you watch here? So I just to increase your understanding, I prepare three more slides. So first one, this is in the our muscle, in our muscle. And second one is in, this is a fat tissue. It's a fat tissue. It's fat itself. And third one is hormone. Third one is hormone. So class is important thing is here. Uh, Phosphagen system, concentration is important. Class, did you remember? Mm -hmm. And Carbohydrate metabolism, what is the most important? Activator, is right, is right, is it important? And how about fat? Can you guess what is the most important? Fat, fat, to, uh, to metabolize fat, right? To metabolize fat as an energy, which one is important? Could you see? Hormone sensitive lipases. Fat cannot just use, <laughs> you still hormone, sensitive lipases, is it right? Doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. So as you see, that left side, this is the muscle tissue, right? See, we need hormone sensitive lipase to break down triglyceride, become fatty acid and triglycerol. I'm sorry, glycerol and three fatty acids. And fat, met, uh, sorry, what is this? It's adipocyte two, right? It's break down triglyceride, one glycerol, three fatty acids. Still, we need, uh, where is, where is, yeah, hormone sensitive lipases. Right? So, we need then, we need, uh, uh, what, what is, hormone sensitive enzyme. And how about class? Did you remember? If we eat too much carbohydrate, insulin 
inhibit fan metabolism, right? And right now I prepare this slide. See, this where is <laughs> hormone sensitive lipases can be inhibited by could you write the answer? Hormone sensitive lipase is important for fat metabolism, but it can be inhibited by some hormone. Can you guess? And actually, it's, this slide has answered. Class, class, I think you hear from me, is right? Yes, previous class, I just kept talking about this insulin is important anabolic hormone, right? So if insulin increase, it inhibits this hormone sensitive lipases. So this is why body cannot increase fat metabolism. Class, any question? Or do you agree? And that slide I from nature, <laughs> like a magazine is right. Science and nature is not my opinion. Class, does it make sense? So, oh, thank you, Tazi. Right. Thank you, Tazi. No, thank you, Luis. Right. So, uh, I forgot. Oh, so, yeah. So, if we eat too much carbohydrate, this is why insulin is inhibit fat metabolism. But actually, we must use energy from fat, but we cannot use. See, that kind of situation, finally, just keep it carbohydrate. So, addicted to the carbohydrate. It means because it tastes really good? No, because your body is still starving. So this is why I just keep eating, keep eating, especially carbohydrate. Doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. How can we fix? We need exercise. Or if we couldn't exercise, we eat less carbohydrate. That is really, really easy. Right? So class doesn't make sense, but I cannot stay too long, right? Just I go. Yeah, so any question, please type the chat box, okay? Without chat box, Today, I'm already just, just move forward, but please yeah, respond to me. Right? And fat oxidation, and another one, and another one. So class, so I just talk about glycogenolysis. Glycolysis is different, especially when, you know, when charge, when charge this molecule using inorganic phosphate, glycogen using inorganic phosphate from ATP hydrolysis. I believe you, I believe you, you already remember, yeah, you know, you know. And glucose molecule put the inorganic phosphate using one ATP, is it right? And next one is most, most of them maybe you could really realize when fatty acid molecule enter mitochondria, it need activate too. It need activate too. And even need two ATP. So to use a lot of, to produce a lot of energy, you need to activate your fat molecule. It needs two ATP. And to use glucose as energy, you need one ATP. Glycogen, no, you do not need. It becomes glucose 6-phosphate. Yeah. So this is why during relatively high intense exercise, your body want to save ATP. So this is why cannot use glucose, cannot use fat, a relative high exercise intensity, but it would like to use glycogen molecule because it doesn't need ATP cost. Class, do you have any question? Do you think it is, is, is make, doesn't make sense? Doesn't make sense? Is it okay? Is it okay? Class, is it okay? Is it okay? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Taz. Thank you, Luis. L L Luis. Right. Oh, <laughs> actually, yesterday, I used the, our survey to pronounce your name correctly, right? Because we survey is right? You guys let me know. So, yeah, Taz and Luis, thank you. Still, I'm not really sure I pronounced well, but right now I understand how to pronounce. Okay. Thank you. Oh, and another one, using announcement. Yeah, if you want to study more biochemistry, but Dr. Gun cannot cover all of them because we should go to another chapter. So I post really, really good articles, right? So you can read that article if you want. And it's kind of like, a, there are some not really good articles, there are too many. So I really choose a really, really good article for biochemistry. So I think it will be good right? if you read that one. Right? 
And how about protein, right? Protein is cannot really just directly used as energy, but it can convert, could you see? Glucose, pyruvate, or various Krebs cycle intermediate to produce ATP. And how about class? Any student, did you remember? What is kind of like a, a important amino acid to become intermediate of Krebs cycle or TCA cycle? And it can charge, like a turbo charge our Krebs cycle or TCA cycle. Class, did you remember which amino acid? It's not like a specific name, but we call BCAA, right? Brain chain amino acid. It can be with this uh, various Krebs cycle intermediate. And finally, it increase which molecule and increase the speed of uh, TCA cycle. Class, did you remember this molecule? Krebs cycle, TCA cycle, begin and in this molecule. Amino acid can increase this molecule. Oh, I talk about previous class that, that many spend a lot of time. Oxaloacetate, OAA. Class, did you remember? Did you remember? Yeah. This is why we need like a biochemistry. TCA cycle is not acetyl A. Oxaloacetate is the most important uh, like a molecule to increase the speed up. But amino acid can be can be intermediate of this oxaloacetate. Is it right? So this is why. It doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. So even you overeating, overeating, you have a lot of acetyl coenzyme A, it cannot increase your speed of TCA cycle. If, for example, if your car has a lot of gas, but it cannot be like a turbocharged engine, is it right? To become turbocharged engine, in this case, we need like amino acid. Doesn't make sense. Like this kind of approach. Any question? No, no. And how about like this oxidative energy system? Oxidative energy system. Class, could you see? How about class isocitrate dehydrogenases, right? So even you didn't really study this enzyme is very specifically, but at least can you answer isocitrate dehydrogenase from where? Where is isocitrate dehydrogenase? Oh, 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 actually, Louis' answer is previous, but actually, yes, Krebs cycle. Yeah. So, isocitrate dehydrogenase is in Krebs cycle. Is it right? Acetyl coenzyme citrate, isocitrate, right? Alpha ketoglutan. So, isocitrate dehydrogenase, it should be in TCA cycle. And here, stimulate by ADP and inhibit by ATP. Does it make sense? If, you, if we have enough ATP, why do we need, yeah, yeah, why we need to use Krebs cycle? If we have enough ATP, is it right? If we do not have ATP, it should be, right? Activate is right. So it means it can be stimulated by ADP, but inhibit by ATP, is it right? Is it right? And another one, NAD plus, FAD, is important, right? Uh, coenzyme is right. So without that one, we cannot move. Uh, we cannot get what is used our TCA cycle, is right? And uh, Patrick today talk about ETC. See? ETC stimulated by ADP because this is substrate, but inhibited by ATP. It just doesn't make sense. It this is just based understanding of uh, energy metabolism. It doesn't make sense. If we have ADP, yeah. We need ATP. <laughs> if we have already ATP, why we need this kind of energy system? Doesn't make sense. Like, this is how to understand. And another one, NAD plus and FAD is important coenzyme. And again, this NSA textbook, there are many authors. So sometimes they just mistake or sometimes they make too, too much in advance. Here, NAD plus is right, but FAD, usually we just write FAD. But if when we get Get like a, what is this, uh, hydrogen atom or proton and electron, it becomes FADH2, FADH2, is right? So actually, FAD is correct, but FAD2 plus, I understand what does the like the creators mean, right? 
So this is why sometimes confusion is like that. Yeah, so this is biochemistry, biochemistry. So, oh, question is like this. Isocitric dehydrogen is stimulated by ATP and inhibited by ADP. True and false. Could you answer in the chat box? Class, yeah, you must participate, you must participate. This is kind of, it's, it's, oh, Taz, right, Taz, right. It's first. How about other students? Do you agree? Do you agree, right? See, if we have ATP, why? <laughs> if we do not have ATP, oh my God, we need, we need, is it right? Yeah, doesn't make sense, yeah. So thank you, Taz, you're, you're fast, but yeah, it's first. How about class, do you agree? Do you agree? Like this kind of question, is right? See, this is, oh, thank you, Madeline, right? You must understand. And, and, and another one right, is again, see, this, this uh, diagram from our NSA textbook, even our NS textbook said lactic acid is incorrect. If you read our textbook, I think you already read several times, right? Because I already posted, yeah, two weeks ago, right? But still, yeah, some figure is still talk about here. <laughs> Could you see lactic acid and pyruvic acid? Class, could you see? Could you see? Our textbook is better than any other exercise physiology book, but still, their question is like still talk about lactic acid and pyruvic acid. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So this is why you should know it's better than like textbook, is right? Yeah. So this case, oh, they confuse. Maybe one of the their author or one of the like. There are people, right, is mistakenly used, which is not correct. Class doesn't make sense. So how about here? Uh, could you see? Yeah. See, because they, some people, oh, well, anyway, it's terrible, right? This, this one, terrible. Try this. <laughs> right. So, so is it here is a, is a lactic acid is lactic acid is not correct but they want to call lactic acid so this is why they must call pyruvic acid instead of pyruvate is right pyruvate right but actually uh, glucose to become pyru pyruvate there are no acid so there are no uh, no like reason we have acid this is why they just put the name without any reason, right? So that is not really correct, but this is latte, is a latte. Yeah, so it's here. So second question, yeah. So this quiz question, if we open today our quiz, I think quiz three, quiz four, quiz four, right? Yeah, so you have this question too, and it will be very similar to your exam question. So you need to practice right now. Oxidative phosphorylation refer to the Direct resynthesis of ATP from ADP during a single reaction in the metabolic pathway, whereas substrate level phosphorylation refers to resistance ATP in the electron transport chain. The true and false. Yeah, th this is, is your question, right? You can you see, you see. Class, yeah, <laughs> it's like a wording is right, wording. Right? So oxidative, oxidative phosphorylation. Do you think it's a single reaction? How about Dr. Go, what is a single reaction? Did you remember creatine kinase reaction? Creatine phosphate, resynthesize ATP, one reaction is right. How about glycolysis? How many steps we need ATP? 10 steps is right. Oxidative phosphorylation. This is even include mitochondria. It's at least more than 10 steps, right? Class, does it make sense? Does it make sense? Yeah, so yeah, has it. So it's first. The first one is mentioned about creatine kinase reaction. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Or adenylate kinase reaction, right? Just one reaction. But this case, oh no, it's not correct. It's the first. Class, do you agree? Do you agree? Do you agree? See, like this kind of question. So this is why I kept saying, you cannot just memorize. You must understand biochemistry. Even you should understand our situation. 
some authors use different terminology. For example, it's here. Right? For example, substrate level phosphorylation. We didn't really talk about it, right? We didn't really talk about that. Right? So, like, uh, this is why you should understand is total, is big, big picture. This is the big picture. Yeah, there is inverse relationship given N system, maximum rate of ATP production, right? And total amount of ATP is capable of producing over time. So class doesn't make sense, right? Some energy system release a lot of ATP. Oh, we call it capacity. For some energy system, resistance ATP very fast. That is the rate. Right? Class doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. So write this. So how about class? Why we learn this kind of biochemistry? But still to use practically in our real world, this kind of table is really important. So this one. So actually, we cannot open our muscle fiber. Yeah. Dr. Gon has more phosphagen system, glycolytic energy system, or mitochondrial system. We cannot see it, right? But using performance, you can assume, you can predict. Right? If you test Dr. Gon, Oh, based on his testing result, he is more phosphagen person. He is more endurance phospho and uh, mitochondrial respiration person. Like this is right. So this is why this kind of second and time is really, really important. So how about class? Does it make sense? So please here, please watch here. Duration of event, some kind of sports event, it takes only zero to six seconds. Okay. How about any student give any like example of six second exercise or sports? Like a sharp put is right. How about bench press 1RM? How are you think, right? And stretch, right? Like that kind of thing. Zero to six seconds is right. That is intensity is really, really high, almost maximum is right. And energy system is a phosphagen energy system. How about class? Does it make sense? Does it make sense? And 60 to 30 seconds, what is this? That is like Wingate test, right? Wingate test, right? That case, phosphagen and fast glycolysis. But how about if I write this, if I wrote this textbook, I would write said not fast glycolysis, maybe glycogenolysis or lactate formation, right? Doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. But our textbook use fast glycolysis. So, so, Usually from start glycogenolysis and is make through the pyruvate and make lactate is right. That energy system. And and okay, is right. Sometimes they could slow glycolysis. <laughs> that is the like a pyruvate and the mitochondria. But this case they didn't say, they said oxidative system. So next one is 30 seconds to two minutes. That is our textbook said fast glycolysis. And if Dr. Gon would write this, write this book, I want to call glycolytic lactate system. They take 30 seconds to two minutes. So if you really want to increase glycolytic energy system, especially lactate, you need to choose some kind of 30 seconds to two minute training program. Doesn't make sense? Doesn't make sense. How about that case? Wingate test is really good, like a test or training to improve our glycolytic lactate system. Not really is right because we need 30 seconds to two minutes, but Wingate test only 30 seconds. That is really focused based on our table, phosphagen and best glycolysis. We cannot fully right activate and fully train our glycolytic lactate system, is right? So this is why today our lab activity is using treadmill, all our exercise is around 30 seconds to one minute 30 seconds. It doesn't make sense. So we really increase our lactate formation system. Class, does it make sense? So this is why this is so important. And another one, please see. So two, after two minutes, after two minutes, some kind of exercise, you can exercise only like two minutes, 30 seconds, it still need energy from mitochondria. So some exercise, you can do three minutes, yeah, it's already mitochondrial energy system is important for this like uh, duration of the day. So see, so this is a question is here. See, based on understanding this table, right? This is important when you make exercise program too, right? So the highest lactic acid class, see, 
they call lactic acid, but you should know, okay, it's mistake, it's lactate, is right, is it right? Yeah, concentrate in the muscle would be observed with which kind of exercise in testing? One, two, three, four. Could you answer? One, two, and three, and four. So I think you guys listen to me, is right? Could you answer, right? Yeah. To train lactate system, is right? You need to release lactate a lot, is right? So which kind of like a exercise time is release lactate as much as possible? And you need to use that kind of like a, a exercise. Oh, how about students? Other students, do you agree? Taj said one to two, two minutes, is right? How about 50 seconds? Fast-fucking system. One RM squat, fast-fucking system. Aerobic activity, one to two hours, mitochondrial response system. So answer is, yeah, Taz, Luis, yes, one to two minutes. Class, does it make sense? Does it make sense? Yeah, based on this table, is right. How to understand this table? Based on understanding of glycolytic, I'm sorry, is what is this, uh, uh, our energy system. Class, does it make sense? This table is important when you apply this concept to Real world doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Thank you, thank you. And sometimes it's a little bit confused because the terminology. So it's here: rate of ATP production meets speed, right? But capacity is amount. Right? So doesn't make sense. So this is why uh, here is a right side table. Number one is rate of ATP production. The uh, one is like ranking one. So rate of AD production ranking one is phosphagen system. But however, capacity, right? Release how many ATP, right? There is not too much, not too much is right. So this is right, the last one, tips. Right? Oxidative or fat and protein metabolism is great. This the last one, right? Take time, but it release a lot of ATP. So class doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. Yeah, you must understand the terminology, right? Rate of ATP and composite of ATP. So I prepare this table. So could you answer the highest capacity? Oh, right now, Luigi, right? It's different rate and capacity, right? Highest capacity of ATP production is from where? Could you answer? One, two, three, four, five. Capacity. <laughs> capacity. Not rate. Not rate. Oh, see, Taz said, <laughs> Taz is right? right? So, see? So, answer is, you can say one, two, three, four, five, right? Yes, so actually, oxidation of fat and protein. But I believe you guys very sure oxidation of fat, that is correct. However, protein? See, this is a little bit confusing, right? But still, yes, that can be energy. We do not need to teach, uh, I'm sorry, protein as energy, but actually, yeah, it can release more energy than carbohydrate. And another one, a little bit confused, oxidation of fat and protein to substrate using oxidation, it releases a lot of ATP, right? So this is why it's kind of a word in this word. The answer is oxidation of fat and protein. How about class? Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. This is kind of like a, a uh, rate ranking, rate, phosphate system, less glycolysis, slow glycolysis, the oxidase of carbohydrate and oxidase of fat and proteins, right? But capacity is reversed. Does it doesn't make sense? Does it make sense? Yeah. This is our quiz question, right? Mm -hmm. And another one, how about class? Like this kind of a table is right. So this kind of a table, the left side is duration and middle side is intensity, right? Which one is more important to understand using this concept of our real world is intensity is really important. Doesn't make sense, right? My athlete is how about like a, my athlete, my trainee is like a hurdler, 100 meter hurdler, is it right? Yeah, yeah. That case, oh, how, how about like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How about like this? Bench press, right? So exercise intensity, 100% of 1RM or 90% of 1RM. That is intensity is important when you decide which energy system is a major energy system. It doesn't make sense. So you should think about first is intensity. And if we couldn't choose exercise intensity, 
you can use the time. So how about clear? Does it make sense? Like a hurdler, 100 meter hurdler. 100 hurdler, its exercise intensity is high or low? It's tough to say, it's very right? tough to say. But how about, think about duration. 100 meter hurdler is around 10 to 15 seconds, is it right? 10 to 15 seconds, if you are athlete, 10 to 15 seconds. So that case, wow, that is fast bucket system because less than 10 to 15 seconds. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Like this kind of approach. When you decide which energy system will focus, first, you should think about intensity. Second is a duration. So class, does it make sense? Does it make sense? And another one, even, even bench press one RM, could you see is here? Could you see is here? Still energy, we can use all three energy systems. We cannot really say that is only fast fat. That is only mitochondrial plus. That is only uh, what is glycolytic energy system. So how about class? Does it make sense? All three energy systems we use to resynthesize ATP, doesn't matter exercise intensity, but they have a different distribution. Right? Class doesn't make sense. How about right now, based on this figure, figure, right? My energy system is right now, could you see it's here? Yeah. So uh, if I'm really, really rest, 100% energy from myocondrial respiratory system, could you see? Could you see it here? It's right. But still, I'm talking. So maybe I use a 90% mitochondrial response system and two or five percent glycolytic and fast bucket system. Right? Doesn't make sense like this kind of approach. Yeah. So this question, could you answer one, two, three, four? Which of the following primarily detected the degree to which an energy system contributes to the need production of ATP? So first, oh yes, touch first. However, if Taj, when he applied this concept to real world, but he a little bit tough to understand intensity, that case, he can use duration and to decide which energy system. Doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. Could you see is x, x, uh, x axis is time is right, is x is time. So here, this is five minutes, right? So this is maybe two minutes, 30 seconds. This is maybe one minute, 30 seconds, right? This is maybe 30 seconds. So based on the athlete or your training, some kind of duration, you can decide which energy system is more, right? Doesn't make sense, right? Doesn't make sense. So you can figure out distribution and you can focus which energy system, right? This kind of approach. So this is kind of a question. So excess, uh, in, intensity, intensity is answered, but secondly, duration. So class doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. The initial, initiation of all exercise is supported by which energy system? How about class, could you answer? The initiation, the initiation. Maybe you will be a little bit confused based on this graph, but answer is, oh, oh, Margo, thank you. Yes, yes thank you, right. Margo, you're right. Maybe you can think based on this diagram, Oh, mitochondria, but actually, even mitochondria still need fast bucket system. And how about, can you guess, it's here, right? So I said, can you say why, why, right? So I would like to say, I would like to say, fast bucket system, it sounds like high exercise intensity, like system is right, but still, fast bucket system include ATP hydrolysis is right. So this is why fast bucket system is always important is initial of all out exercise. Class, does it make sense? Does it make sense? Yeah. Fast bucket system is the high rate of ATP production system, but at the same time, this is important is when we start exercise. Class, does it make sense? Does it make sense? Oh, so answer is fast bucket system. Is it right? Yeah, is it right? So if you, uh, yeah, if you want to see the answer, I I recorded this right. Hope I think it's a June sent to me the link uh, a little bit later. So maybe ending up tonight, uh, tonight or tomorrow morning, I can post our recordings one. So you can watch again, so especially this quiz. But so doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. So fast fucking system. I already said intensity first and duration is right. 
So this is why our textbook show intensity first, 50 to 70 percent. Some exercise uh, intensity 50 to 70 percent, or like five to 30 seconds, right? So that kind of like uh, uh, exercise or sport is fast fighting system is important, right? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. So creative aspect is important one. Yeah, and you see, to listen to say, especially uh, generally fast fighting system, creative fast bait. So how about uh, if you use creative fast bait analysis ten to listen to say ATP, and second set <laughs> exercise again, which means creative fast bait should be recovered, is right? It's recovered doesn't make sense. So this slide and our textbook is talk about how many minutes. How many minutes to resynthesize creative fast bait? So to recent ATP, we use creative fast bait. But I remember, I think you remember, creative fast bait is important thing is concentration in our muscle fibers, right? But it used. And to resynthesize creative fast bait, how long? So our textbook said eight minutes. It's eight minutes. So this case, hmm, okay, that's it, right? <laughs> but how about if you want to really use, really use, you need this one. I think I prepared it here, yes. So I post this article, this article is studied by our graduate student, Humboldt State University, is my graduate student, right? So it's like this, 85% of 1RM bench press, you exercise until to failure. Usually you can do, seven or six repetition is right and take a rest and you try again but usually uh, even our LSA textbook is mentioned two to five minutes they said that kind of exercise intensity especially strength you need a two to five minute recovery but however after two to five minutes right you try again you did maybe three or four or not some people do only two. So even take rest two to, to five minutes for repetition to really decrease. So seven, four, three, two, like this. Repetition to really decrease. But I think you remember, right? ATP concentration doesn't change. But some energy system cannot resynthesize ATP that fast, just using two to five minute recovery time. So this is why it's our student, right? He think I learned from 425 classes, this classes, eight minutes is important. So he tried 75% of one RM and give eight minute recovery time between set and four set. Finally, he found seven, 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 seven. Wow, it's impressive, right? So he put, he, he submitted this article and he he accepted, it's accepted. Right? So if we want like focus 85% on RM, this case we call muscular strength. To increase strength, we need that much high intensity, 85% is right, is right. But that case, if you want to keep exercise training volume, like 777, you need at least eight minutes. Right? Wow, class, does it make sense? Does it make sense? Is this is kind of real article. And this is the general of strength Country research article. Could you see it here, the red font, right? So only 10% of submission, they open. 90% they reject. Just reading, yeah, oh, it's not like this. So it's very, very tough to be published, but he published this article only using bench press and starboard. Bench press and starboard, he published this article. This to journal, right? This journal, even NASA, right? Very high, like, uh, researcher and institution, they try to publish here, right? But our student just using stopwatch and bench press is published. Eight minutes. Yeah. How surprising. How impressive, right? I posted this article in our other research, uh, uh module, but right? please read there. So, class, does it make sense? Does it make sense? Yeah. And next one, glycogen. Glycogen. See, it's using uh, exercise intensity around 6% of maximum oxygen uptake 
What is the maximum oxygen uptake? That is butyl oxygen, right? This case is butyl. Creative phosphate, I talk about bench press, but here is glycogen, yeah, is 60% of butyl. Right? So we need at least that exercise intensity. And another one, two recent tests is creative phosphate. Actually, we need the time, but two recent tests of glycogen, this is carbohydrates, right? So post exercise meal is important, is it right? So this is kind of like amount of carbohydrate and how much and how, so like timing, is it right? Timing, right? Doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. Two recent tests as glycogen, you need carbohydrate, right? So today I talk about if we eat too much carbohydrate, we have a problem, is it right? However, this is like if we exercise, we need a carbohydrate. We need a carbohydrate. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Because we have a demand when after exercise. See? It means if we do, if we do not exercise, there are no like timing. <laughs> there are no timing. So this is why every day we need exercise. And you can eat carbohydrate. And it can increase our glycogen storage. That is perfect scenario. Without exercise, uh, I don't know. So it's here, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So where is? Oh, yeah. So it's another table, right? Another table. Right? Did you remember using exercise intensity? And this case is exercise intensity, but actually using this kind of exercise, you can figure out duration is right. So duration. So dependent duration or dependent exercise intensity, you can figure out which NS system is most important limiting factor. So you can train. Using this one doesn't make sense. If you really want to, like, if you really want to improve your muscle glycogen and liver glycogen, right, and fat store, you want to really use that one. You should exercise like a marathon style sports, right? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. And how about if you really focus ATP and creatine phosphate and muscle glycogen? See, based on number of repeated. Snatch exercise at 60% of one RM. Oh, this one is right. See, this is a ranking is most uh, probable as a limiting factor. It's a limiting factor, is right? If we want to increase ATP, creatine phosphate, muscle glycogen, you need this kind of exercise. So how about class doesn't make sense? And another one, if you see is lower pH, lower pH, right? This 400 meter and repeat snatch, right? Lower pH means it's kind of like a body release a lot of total and body is pH decrease and the terminal is metabolic acidosis. So this is why you can feel fatigue or you can feel sick. Right? Class doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. Like that kind of approach. So using table, you can figure out which energy system is most important. So how about if you train 400 meter running? 400 the running, right? This kind of event, right? See, if you see, oh, ATP creatine is important, but three, not five, muscle glycogen is important, and three, not four, five, how about liver glycogen? Not too much, fat, not too much. Oh, lower pH, four to five. Oh, metabolic acidosis is important, is right? Metabolic acidosis is important, right? So, like this kind of approach, right? I do not talk about too much for here. But if you want to study more metabolic acids during exercise, I posted the article in our uh, is a, a, a resource module, so you can see over there. So it's okay. And how about class is right now 850, but you know our lab is not that too long. So I want to a little bit use our time, uh, our lab hour, so so I can finish this PowerPoint slide. So class, do you think it's okay? Do you think it's okay? Yeah. So I just keep going. And another one, this is a recording, is a recording, right? So you can watch again, right? Yeah. So how about I can I just finish? Can I just finish? And we'll have a little bit take a rest and we'll have a left. So class is here. Could you answer which of the following different kind of exercise would we expect to deplete carbohydrate store? Carbohydrate store, right? In the body. Can you change the term carbohydrate store? Glycogen, glycogen. See, this is why you must understand big picture. So even this textbook author change word, but 
but you understand. Hmm. Glucose is not stored, right? Glucose in the blood, right? But glycogen is stored, right? So it means which event? Which event, right? Oh, yeah. which event is can deplete glycogen? So I think it has is already answered to the truth. Yes. <laughs> yes. Or oh, long distance run, 90 minutes perform at intense 50% blood max age, right? So anyway, glycogen use. Right? And next one, high intensity intermediate train, which train is right. Did you remember? Based on this one, it's based on this one, is right. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. See, muscle glycogen, right? 90 minutes. It's kind of a marathon style, is right? So five, five. And another one, so this kind of like an intermediate exercise, right? High intensity exercise, yeah, four through five. So, yeah, it's a glycogen. So, this case, after training, you should eat carbohydrate. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Because your body has demand. Your body has demand, right? Doesn't make sense. Right? This kind of approach, right? Yeah, so, class, this is kind of like a, is important concept. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I think it's a little bit tough to understand if you, if you do not have a big picture. And how about class is here? 75% of maximum oxygen uptake means it's a put max age, right? So please watch here. Please watch this diagram. It's important. It's important concept. Yeah. But our textbook or other textbook couldn't really explain well. So he's here. Could you see? 75% of put max, that exercise, that exercise without warming up. You just exercise that exercise. <laughs> Could you understand what I mean? What I mean? How about class? Do you know how to test brute max using field test? Any field test? Class, could you type any field test to measure your brute max? Any field test? If you learn from my exercise physiology, you know. You should know. Some kind of a test predict brute max value. Did you remember? How about class? 1.5 mile run test. 1.5 mile run test. Do you know? Do you know? Using that one, we can predict brute max value is right. If we use 1.5 mile run test on the treadmill, you can figure out speed. So for example, like uh, uh, 8 mile power, I can finish 1.5 mile. 8 mile power is your brute max speed. So 75% of brute max speed if somebody's eight mile power, that case eight multiplied point seventy five. Oh, six mile power. Six mile power is this kind of exercise intensity. So if you just exercise using six mile power, your grip is look like this. So class doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. See, it's oxygen consumption because just six mile power, right? It's abruptly increase and increase and couldn't reach steady state. But, but around five to six minutes, which steady state is right, is right, right? And if you stop exercise, still our oxygen consumption is higher, we call EPA, is right? Yeah, doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. This is steady state, right? But however, this kind of exercise, 80% of maximum power, of, oh my God, what is this? And how can we get it? How can we get it? Class. Any question about this one or any answer? What is maximum power output? Any student know your maximum power output value? So here, percent of maximum oxygen consumption, that is brute max. And this one talk about percent of maximum power output. What is this? Is it right? Is it right? Can you guess what is the value of maximum power output? Especially if you take our class after COVID-19, you do not have any COVID before COVID-19. Yeah, it is very tough to understand. I'm sorry, right? Any student know maximum power output, your maximum power output, or which test can measure your maximum power output? Any student? No, no. Hint is our lab. Class, maximum power output. Uh, is a uh, yeah get get by Wingate test. Oh yes, Luis, yes, Wingate test. Yeah, doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. So Wingate test 
your maximum power output you can collect at five seconds. At five seconds. So at five seconds, uh, Wingate power output, even after five seconds, you want the maximum power output decrease, decrease. So this case, even 80% of maximum power output, that is excess is really, really high. So if you see the graph, see it's here, see, if you see graph is here, could you see the X axis? <laughs> one minute, even one minute, you cannot reach your steady state access consumption. Doesn't make sense because access is too high, too high. Doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. Yeah, this is kind of a concept. This is kind of a concept, right? So to use this concept, yeah, this concept, right? Using 75% of access consumption, 80% of maximum power output, you need to use this kind of exercise intensity and training your athlete for aerobic, like a metabolism athlete or anaerobic metabolism athlete. Doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. To do this one, you must test their brute max and you must test their maximum power output is right. Is right, doesn't make sense. Yeah. And percent uh, brute max, you can use metabolic heart to test. And maximum power output, you can use Wingate test, you can test. But however, can you test right now? Even you are our HSU student, but our lab is closed. And how about after graduation? Can you test at your commercial gym or your own gym? You do not have metabolic card. You do not have Wingate muscular power test uh, bike, is right? You do not have. So how can you test this kind of number, right? This kind of test. Class, any any like a comment? How can you test? Without Wingate, without metabolic heart. Class doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Any any idea, right? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we'll talk about this one. See? A brute max test without metabolic heart, you can use 1.5 mile run test. You can use treadmill, you can use outdoor. Okay. You can you can guess brute max. So you can calculate 75% of good max. And how about maximum power? Without Wingate, how can you test? Without Wingate, how can you test your maximum power? Class, so this is why we have lab activity today using all out exercise treadmill, using incline 20% or 15%, you can get maximum power. Half a class doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. Like this kind of approach, right? So Dr. Gong prepare lab activity is not just prepare, right? No, <laughs> it's a based on understanding. Oh, our student after graduation, they need this one. Right? This is what I prepare. So I believe today is a really good lab activity. I think you like it, you like it. Yeah, so like uh, we have many tables, right? So. I already said you cannot open your muscle fiber to see fast target system, but using performance and based on performance, you can figure out your athlete or yourself which kind of a distribution, which kind of a characteristic, which kind of attribute of my three energy system. It doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Right? And which kind, like some kind of event. You can figure out this event is kind of like uh, focusing more fast target system, more glycogen analysis is like this. Doesn't make sense. This is why like uh, this kind of what is this uh, table is important. Table is important. They already decide. Right? So class doesn't make sense. So here again, percent of maximum power output. Yeah. Uh, today is Louis said is Wingate test right? Percent of maximum power output by Wingate or today by our lab activity, lab activity, right? So zero to five seconds, that kind of exercise, 96% of anaerobic and only 4% of aerobic, doesn't make sense. That kind of event, right? How about, uh, what, like bench press 1RM is right? See, 96% and 4%. How about some exercise, some kind of event, say, you can maintain 30 seconds. That case, we call, oh, that is 55% of a maximum power output and 75% contribution anaerobically. 
and 25% contribution aerobic cardio. Doesn't make sense. And how about 60 seconds? Some exercise, you can exercise 60 seconds and you cannot exercise. That case, we just call that is 35% of maximum power output and 50% from anaerobic, 50% is aerobic. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, class doesn't make sense, right? So some kind of event take 60 per 60 second. This case, we should trade anaerobic half. We should trade anaerobic half. Right. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. It should be make sense, right? So the use of appropriate exercise intensity and rest interval allow for the selection of specific NS system during training and result in more efficient and productive resonance for specific at the event with various metabolic demand. Oh, what does it mean? So high intense exercise is important. There is high quality exercise training. But the problem is you cannot do that too long, is right? Because high exercise intensity, you cannot exercise too long. <laughs> High exercise intensity. So this is why. How can we exercise high intensity? That is HIIT. Does it make sense? HIIT is popular, right? So using HIIT program, using rest period time, you can expose your body. You can expose your trainee's body. It's high intensity. This is HIIT. Is it right? This is right, right? So how about here? And another one. HIT program is popular. So as your trainee or as your, your expert, your expert, you should try, you should decide this kind of intensity. This is kind. This is kind of recovery time. It's like this. Doesn't make sense. You should decide. You cannot exercise without deciding. Doesn't make sense. That is kind of physical activity, right? But we need to decide. That doesn't make sense. And first, I want to show you this is American College of Sports Medicine, right? Their fitness trend, they survey, see 2014 to 2018. HIIT, high intensity interval training, is very high length, is right? Doesn't make sense. This is a lot of demand. So, as your expert, you guys, right, after graduation, you should know how to decide, how to determine exercise intensity and exercise interval and exercise resting time between sets, right? Doesn't make sense and total exercise volume of this program, this is your job. This is why they, people pay for you, is it right? Doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. So it's important. This kind of thing is based on understanding of like energy metabolism right now, we learn this, right? So I think I want to finish this one. Right? So when you make hit program, you have this kind of idea. So for example, like this. This case is exercise, and recovery, exercise and rest. Doesn't make sense. So for example, like this, if you exercise around 30 seconds, could you see it's 30 seconds, it means that is kind of like 75% of your maximum power output is right. 30 seconds, right? And this case, you need to take a resting time, a one verse five. So one is exercise time, five is your recovery time. So how about class, could you type here, if you exercise 30 seconds, 30 seconds, wow, I'm tired, and you need to take rest. So if you use one verse five, your resting time, could you type in the our chat box, right? 30 second exercise, and you need rest, is right? How long? Based on this table, if we follow one verse five, so your recovery time between sets. If you do 15 seconds, one verse three is right. But how about 30 second exercise? Oh, oh, oh. How about Luis? This one is one verse five. One is exercise time. So 30 seconds. So five is. Oh, 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 that, that is good too. That, yeah. So, so. So 30 second, if we use one verse five, is 150 second, is it right? 150 second, is it right? Plus doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. But yeah, yeah, is it right? So 150 second, so two minutes, 30 second. Right? Plus doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Luis, and thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Sky, right? Yeah, doesn't make sense, yeah. So if we exercise 30 second, 
you need one minute, I don't know, so one fifty second recovery time. Right? Does it make sense? You need to use this table. So how about class? Could you answer which of the following is appropriate resting time for middle distance runner performing 400 meter running sprint interval for six seconds, right? Using 400 meter, 60 seconds. So how about go back to here? 60 seconds, right? So it's here. One minute is right, one minute, oh, one verse three, one verse three, right? Yeah, oh, thank you, Erika, yeah. So what is most like close to the resting time is a three minute based on this one is right. Doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. Oh, Erika is a soccer player, right? If Erika is a soccer coach and trainer, if she ask like her trainee, right? One hour, one minute, one minute running and stop, three minute recovery, right? Based on one verse three, this is reference. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Yeah, like, uh, does it understandable? Is it understandable? Yeah, so hit program, right? Is, is, is using this hit program, we can use 90% or higher than 90% or boot max value as a high exercise intensity. Doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense, right? So why we need hit program? So you are trainee and as a, you as a, as a yourself, right? We can expose high exercise intensity, doesn't make sense. So why is hit pro, high intensity interval training program is important? We can expose high intensity, but at the same time, you need recovery time is right. Sometimes you need enough recovery. Sometimes you need uncomplete, uh, not enough recovery to give stress that energy system. Yeah, and how about here? So some hit program, some hit program, exercise intensity above 90% of brute max and exercise walk to rest ratio is one verse one. So it means if we exercise two minutes at close brute max, one verse one, you need two minute recovery. Class doesn't make sense. Two minute brute max speed running and two minute recovery. And two minute brute max speed running, two minute recovery. This case, your body exposed more high exercise intensity, longer, using two minute, two minute interval. Without two minute interval, you can access only 10 minutes, is right? Using brute max speed, is right? But two minute, two minute, maybe you can expect, you can expose maybe more than 15 minutes, more than 20 minutes. That is kind of benefit for our energy system. This is the beauty of a HIIT program. How to make HIIT program? You will learn this one ending of a semester. Ending of a semester, yeah, we have it. I prepared for you. Oh, yeah, and we are almost done. We are almost done, right? So, could you see she's Diana, is is weightlifter, is weightlifter. This is her Wingate test performance. Her Wingate test, she is weightlifter. She is weightlifter. Wow, see, impressive, is right? Powerful, 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 right? Wow, is impressive, right? But however, it's right now, 10 seconds is past. Oh my goodness, see? Oh my goodness, right? So Diana, are you okay? <laughs> she, she, <laughs> she lost all creatine phosphate that time, right? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, right? She couldn't finish, it's a 30 seconds. Yeah. Does it make sense? Does it make sense, right? How about class, <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. Right? Yes, you already watch football player and triathlon is a their Wingate performance is right. They are good, but even football player, very powerful, but still is better than endurance than is our Diana is right. But Diana is weightlifter, I know, powerlifter. She's a powerlifter. How about this case? Do you think it's okay, Diana, or it's not okay? She's powerlifter. She's powerlifter, right? Is she okay? She is powerlifter. Yeah, actually powerlifter, their event zero to five seconds is right. So that case, totally okay. Doesn't make sense. If we include aerobic exercise for her, it's good for her health, but it's not good for her performance. 
it can diminish her exercise performance. Class doesn't make sense. That is a combination of a training, right? So is it here, right? Yeah. So, right? So if she is like strength, strong person, that case, maybe aerobic exercise training decrease her performance. But most of the case, we can exercise aerobic and anaerobic, aerobic and aerobic training together. We call, we can get some benefit, but sometimes powerful athlete that can, they can be diminished their performance, their purpose diminished using the aerobic exercise program. So I think, yeah, I think that's it.